Kyle up well. Suzo wants the ball. So with Callum Elliott up against Grant Munro. Back on to Elliott. Kyle wins the header. Breaks through Ryan Stevenson has a chance. Hearts have come from behind to lead at the Cali Stadium. And it's a first hearts goal for Ryan Stevenson. Good play from Kevin Kyle from the header from Callum Elliott. And the shot in off the post to beat Ryan Essen. It's his 15th hearts match. It's his first hearts goal. And Callum Elliott wriggled free from Alan Mabry and set off on a run. And then followed a great pass to pick out the run of Stevenson, who was just on side. And the former air midfielder fired home to seal a 2-0 victory. Hearts third 2-0 win in a row. And it moves them up to third in the SPL table. Ivanovic up with Saliukas. Buzic gets involved. Davis challenges Wallace. Saliukas. Elliot. Wallace. Scatchel ahead of him. Whitaker dived in. Wallace. No penalty. But here's Stephen Elliott. And here's Lee Wallace. Wallace has done really well here. Stephen Elliott waiting. And Ryan Stevenson has scored. That could well be a statement of intent in the race for the title. Hearts have the lead against Rangers. Well, they were never going to go through 90 minutes and not have a shot on target. This is their first one. And my goodness, it counts. Scatchell looking for the penalty. And then he gets the shot away. And when this ball comes into the goal, Rangers are claiming for offside here. Elliot gets it away. But it's Whitaker on the right back position. He plays them on. You see Whitaker taking up that position. Stevenson getting right into the danger area and making it count. He takes two touches. His second one is absolutely vital. The man who started the game as a makeshift striker scores after moving back into midfield. You couldn't make it up, could you? Craig Thompson with the throw. Touched off by Elliot Ryan Stevenson. 2 2. St. Mirren are undone so simply. The long throw not defended. Elliot with a flick off. And Stevenson hammered at home. Thompson Driver It's come to Ryan Stevenson Hearts edge in front in the Edinburgh Derby A goal that means so much to them at the home of their rivals Well he's not a natural striker but he's showing the instincts of a natural striker here. Look at his movement, just hovering around the edge of the box. One touch control, one touch to set himself, and then he pulls the trigger. It's a poor clearance, but great control from Stevenson. And he finds the angle on the shot, and it's too much for Brown. Left-footed, not his strongest side, but he absolutely drills it into the corner. Really good, skillful, quick feet and a clinical finish. A very tidy goal from Ryan Stevenson, who was at Hearts as a kid, then went to. Palace Willis gets it back. Again, Hearts playing some lovely stuff. Suso picks out Stevenson. Hearts are cruising. 3 0. And uh, no one can argue that they aren't terrific value for the Craig Thompson to deliver. In swinger into the net from Ryan Stevenson. And Hearts are in front now. Well, it's been coming in fairness. Cali Bell rooted to his line. Pascali close. Hearts took the lead when Daniel Granger's cross was met by Ryan Stevenson. Though the Paxi goalkeeper could have done better. They scored a second just before half time. Stevenson again profiting from some poor goalkeeping. Oh, 
the ideal ball. The in block for Hearts. Jamie Hamill. And there's Stevenson. Ryan Stevenson with the opening goal in the first Edinburgh Derby of the season. And how he enjoyed his moment in the spotlight. Stevenson finding a pocket of space and making it count. It's just a simple goal, but Hibbs again passing the ball out from the back. I think this time it's Manny Thornhill. He waits for the ball. It's played out from Calabruth. He tries to wait in the ball. Good determination by Jamie Hamill. Gets himself, keeps going forward. Yes, he's onside, there's question marks. It's a great pull by Rand Stevenson, guiding in from midfield. 1 0 Hutch. Hibbs had no answer to this. Booth with the pass on the left intended for Thornhill. It all broke down from there. Ian Black was measured and composed along the ground from Hamill. And Stevenson did the rest. I think everyone is focusing on the fact that Celtic are 10 points behind Rangers. Ian. I don't think we can dismiss the fact that they are a point behind Motherwell. That's the reality. And I know we're only in October and I know there's a long way to go. But a lead like that at this stage can become significant. Oh, Templeton kept it in! And Hearts have scored a second! Ryan Stevenson! They are loving it! And so outrageous! You can be sure of In moments like that, you're looking for a bit of composure. Exactly what Stevenson gives you. Look at this, it's just a long ball. Slightly offside, possibly. But look at this back heel. Wilson not alert to it at all. But thereafter, you see a bit of composure. Taking a number of touches, Stevenson. In the box, he doesn't lash out at it. Steps away from Foster and finishes it into the top corner. Undoubtedly, the seal on the match. Three points for Hearts. Hearts top scorer this season, with four in all. Puts them in the comfort zone with a 2-0 lead against the 10 men of Celtic. Here the Chevalier to Chinashach. Van Foster, cool, nice up there, finish the shot. McGuinness, Ilyakal, McGowan, I'm assuming now it's Cash Williams on McGuinness. You're here to McGuinness, proof to McGowan, Kowarish, and I guess Fatcher, the Fofash, and you and Norris, for a first to Kilorga, the Cogan, the Shepherd, Kiyushin, to the Hitakul, to the Kaharin Kowar, I guess Shinnis Kadoch Kabil. They finish our show, they go to Hearts, I guess they make it out Ryan Stevenson, now he'll let her line, but he'll let us go Hearts. Again, it's a fine of Hashbuya. Our another initiative, Ryan Stevenson. To the ball, there's Bob. The line field can get a tolly chip. And it's been a kill. Check is the pin of eight. The finish of all. From a half corner to Ryan Stevenson. I stay! Tell us our hearts! Ryan Stevenson, the Shakia Tell, like a Bahia Dash, Katain Castle, the Ipswich. A good heart to the Hosher for sure. A time castle, no, you're playing. John McGlynn, welcome, and you get well, and you get the rich. I had a go. I'm a great critic in the region, I could just in his chair. Publishing manager in the tune of the fool that they finished the strides of Jeff King. The tune of the finish of a show of Ryan Stevenson. Ah, Suez got no shine. Smith can find a way through. Clean could have trouble here with Sutton, and it breaks for Stevenson. And a quarter of an hour played. Ryan Stevenson opens the scoring at Tynecastle. Well, McLean with a terrible clearance there. And as it came back in, he didn't have the strength to deal with John Sutton. And as it broke to Ryan Stevenson, he actually had the relatively simple task of placing the ball beyond Radislav G. Stevenson. Ryan McGowan with the long throw, Dylan McGowan takes a tumble, Craig Thompson points at the spot and Hearts have a penalty kick, Dylan McGowan the man that was felled in the area, it was a long throw by his brother 
flicked on, and Willow Flood just has a tug at the arm. An experienced player, Willow Flood, and you have to wonder what he was thinking there. Ryan Stevenson against Chersniak for his second goal of the game. Ryan Stevenson sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And Hearts have a two-goal lead after just over half an hour. Stevenson, clinical. For the Kovacs is free in the left, that's set up for Ngu. Good goalkeeping, but Stevenson with the rebound. Fine goal there by Ryan Stevenson. Alan Manis will consider himself very unlucky after that very good save from Ngu. a very strong challenge on this near side on Sutton Hearts will play on though it is Ryan Stevenson one way then the other what a hearts Ryan Stevenson puts the Jambos into the lead in the final a brilliant strike across the bows of Craig Sampson and it is Maroon again first impressions I think it's taken a little neck off and done it there's two tackles from someone that free up Ryan Stevenson just outside the box, he twists, he turns and I'm sure it's nicked and it's an all-important deflection we'll get a look at it here there's two good tackles, two solid tackles you see Goodwin here right through and go now they've got a problem, one and one Dummett it's a turn, a twist, he's forced right I'm sure it's taken a nick to take it past Samson we'll get a better shot from this angle Liam yeah, it's certainly taking a touch through. Ryan Stevenson twisting and turning in the edge of the area. Yeah, it did take a touch on its way through past Craig Samson. Paul Dummett was the closest St Mirren player. It's a dream start for the Scottish Cup holder. At the moment, they're thinking about putting up the bunting in Paisley. Holt, Ingu, it's away there from Newton. A good run by Stevenson, and he's found him. Ryan Stevenson! In it goes! In it goes! The goal has scraped! The grandstand finish is on here at Hampton Park! Stay where you are! It's 3-2! Well, it all starts off with the young lad Jason Holt showing composure to nip it into Ngu, and I'm thinking, get your head up Ngu! It looks if that big head's down again, but releases the pass at the right time. Through the legs of Van Zanten. Samson sees it late, can't do nothing. In comes the corner. And attacked by Ryan Stevenson. And for all Aberdeen's chances, it's Hearts who take the lead. Hearts took the lead. Scott Robinson feeding Ryan Stevenson. He had acres of space and time on the left hand side to drive forward before firing the ball low beyond Nielsen and into the bottom corner of the goal. This was Stevenson's first goal of the season for Hearts after returning to the side from a knee injury. In that role, Walker, Patterson, Ryan Stevenson. This is Holt. Now he finds Stevenson! Oh, it's unbelievable! Unbelievable! They've been up against it tonight! Up against the odds! But Ryan Stevenson draws the first blood of the Edinburgh Derby. What a turnaround. Now you think Jamie McDonald's saves are stunning. This is stunning. From absolutely nowhere, the game has turned on its head. Just turns and hits, doesn't he? He's had one shot, he's set the sights, picks it up here and just lashes it. Behind Williams, absolutely no chance. Hope just feeds him, he hits, and it's incredible stuff. What a hit that is. Helm again, and a powerful header clear. And now, Hearts on the counter. Jamie Langfield, who was up for the corner, has to split back. Hayes holds them up, but here come Hearts again. And it's Ryan Stevenson! with a blockbuster to finish things off at Pataudry and the comeback is complete and Hearts have beaten 10-man Aberdeen, it's 3-1 Archibald 
Marking with the corner, Stevenson's header, it's 3-1. Two second half goals of Hearts ahead. And Ryan Stevenson, well he hadn't scored since late November, makes his mark on this game. Great glancing header. Just two home wins in the league this season, Barak Thistle, Hearts have only two away wins. They're leading here by 3-1, Robinson. Inside it goes, Stevenson! Tucks it around the corner and Hearts are 4 1 ahead. It's a double for Ryan Stevenson and Hearts hit four for the very first time this season. Robinson across, great little spin and turn. Ryan Stevenson scores! In the 11th minute, it took a deflection on its way through. I think it may have come off Chris Boyd. And it just flashed past Craig Sampson. And Hearts are That's McCatty. And now Nicholson. He's threatening again. Stevenson gets a straight butt from Maximenko. And makes him pay for his mistake. And it's a double for Ryan Stevenson. And it's a 2-0 lead for Hearts midway through the first half. It's really poor defending that. And Bucket went through the legs of the Latvian defender and Samson beaten again. Ryan Stevenson running the show. Great ball for Billy King out wide. King heads for the byline, turns it back across and who is there but Ryan Stevenson to complete a glorious hat-trick right on half-time. Just when Kilmarnock thought things couldn't get any worse. And what a goal that is. Stevenson started the move, charged.